Okay, Lars, so just tell us a bit about your childhood growing up in Nardo. As a young fella, but the other day there was a family. We were born and raised in the place where they got the war, got the war, they got the war, they got the war west, I knew, not got the war, they got the war. And in, in our time, in our, my childhood, my father worked in the, as, a, as, a, as a ganger with the forestry. The forestry was going that time to do only, to do only based on what there was work being, 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 uh, being done in the forestry, the plenty of the, we could call the plenty of the dinner by law, which at that time the the the, the, the Geltis and the, the dinner by law belonged to uh, Mr. Sanders. Okay. Uh, from from Mr. Sanders from England, he owned it. They, they Massey Darcy sure owned it, the whole dinner by law uh, as a as a part of the whole the whole dinner by law until, uh, of course, until just what time came in then. That the uh, that the state was 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 handed over. The, the the state was handed over to the to the to the free state government. How many? What size house? How many rooms were in the house? There was um, in the house when I was when be, when I was being read, there was two rooms on the down floor, a kitchen, and two rooms upstairs. But you had to go go. There were no such thing. As the stairs going up there, you have to go up by a ladder at night. Then. That is a fact now. Right. Until you put the stairs there, you know, and people, people got a bit rich at that time. With the truth, was all, they all touch towers because touch towers is a lot with the common fact of the time. But it, it, it is not because the touches that was able to touch and touch houses would die the way, right. and uh, they, they decided then to put galvanised on. And I spared them from I spared them from the from from the, from this session business, you know. Yeah. I remember when Jim Jim Allen and Ross Fogg said that'd be to be uh, he was going around he was going around collecting scallops from a from a, from a sunny some sunny trees, you know, when we get the scallops from sunny trees for the for touchy. You had to go up there and they'd have to the, shave the touch, you know, or shave the old oats that they have to be passing through. But in a later time, then they became, this, this, this stuff was coming from, I think, down from Shannon's side. It was more rush than, 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 uh, than uh, what do you call that again? Scouts? Than Orton Straw. Mm. It was more rush, it was more. Sit fast, and it lasted a lot longer, like, you know. Right. Because if, when you were putting you put the straw attached on a house, the first thing that was going to have to be trashed well out, the first thing that was going to attack it was, was burrs. Right. Thinking that there was some bit of grain in it. And in terms of, say, what did you have as food, Barry? Did you keep livestock or anything? Did you keep your own livestock or...? Uh, at home? Yeah. Oh, we did. We had a small farm at that time, I think, it was Something around about, I think it was only around about 10 or 12 acres. And we would skip, we would skip five cows. Right. And they reared their calves. And said that, it said, it said, when they were up to a certain age of maybe 12 months or 8 months, they would be carried to the fair in, in the cream. And so it, in the, in the, so it in the size of the trees. Right. They were their fair days and tied in their fair town. Nice. And they said you pull up your creel there and in the same way, in, in the very same way they would sell in bonners. Bonners took up one part of the street, the calves took up another part of the street. And the buyers could come from everywhere and anywhere. But when I, I'll tell you, I, 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 well, it's a good man a year ago, but I'll tell you a story now about a man. He was be there to the to do as the four jabs, as, as the four the four jab, where they was carrying to there the old the old post office at the main street. This is the truth now. Nice. And and that's what the truth. But he was coming there. What were they doing now? Oh yes, 
He was coming down and buying the cars and things like that, and buying them on the day. He'd go down to the porch and say, that that porch is still there, when he, and there was a window to the old porch top. And he looked up and around the mouth and said, God, do you know what he said? This is a fact now, I will tell you. Oh, my God, you see, my porch is there, you see. And I thought it had lost long and long ago. I said. That is a fact. You see, there was a big, a big hole in the wall, a bit going in. It, it, I, I could be there yes, him. Right. I could be a big hole in the wall, and if when he went, when he went, whatever he would do, he shoved his post into it. <laughs> and it, that, is, <laughs> that is a fact, you know. And How many years he, later did he find it? He found, found it the following year, lad. It was there for a year. It was there for a year. He found it the following year. I remember the wedding. That is a, that is the truth, you know. Right. But there was no one going in search of anything that time around you. There was no such thing as, as, as everything was quiet in the town that time. But you could have your bicycle, you could have your bicycle in, 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 and to be there, to, in the one place to be there the day after. Do you all know that? Yeah, where did you go to school? I went to school at Stone, in Stone Park. Right. Stone Park School and a man by the, a man by the name of Mr. Mr. Lynch, but he didn't, she lived uh, he lived over the road that where John is living now, John Ryan. It was Michael Lynch's father, was it? Yeah, Michael Lynch's father, but it is. Mm. And I think that I, I, I felt I know that there was two, 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 a, a, two one for, for youngsters, another for the seniors. And it was a partition going through the school. Like, only a partition. We could take away the partition and make it one, but the partition go to. Well, the lady, Mrs. Hayes, was her teacher. Mrs. Hayes was teacher, what they call it, the, the infant classes up to, well, say, up, nearly up to third class, like. Mm. And after that, they went out into the master school. They went out into the master school to Mr. Lynch. And it, <coughs> it was always, first thing you would always cop, you would go out there like, like a bull. You would cop, it's two or three big ash plants at the back of the, at the back of the, at the blackboard. Right. You see him cocking out, he'd always have two, two ones of his own. Guess one broke. And if one broke, if one broke, would he, would he line up to, to step? I, 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 he'd send you out to cut another one. I, I, as, as I could do, I, I, I could learn not to go to school. Because I was, I was afraid of the bloody plant coat. They don't have your hands there. Eh? So I'm telling you, it's a fucking pure cruelty. That should, that should be outlawed that time, but it was never outlawed. And did you play games at lunchtime now, or did you play uh, games football, at school? Yeah, football. Yeah, football. football. It's football. And there the, 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 the ball alley there. We had no ball alley. And the, and the ball alley as well, like, you know. But, of course, I'm not able to think of everything that was I used at one time, like, you know. But those were, those were hard, I remember when they were hard times, hard, hard, hard times going to school and, and, and you know, had a, 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 a school back there, but no one would, 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 would be, you want to be a, a very, very well up to have a nice school back going to school. And to, to the bag man, I would have, I would have, I would have no I would have no brand bag or something like that, that school bags were made. Yes. They were made at home, stitched together. Few books poured into them, not too many books in them. <laughs> now, they're, now they're hardly able to carry them. They're, too heavy. They're, 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 they're <laughs> a, big, a, bag of, a big bag of books going in them. Huh? So the whole thing the way times have changed, isn't it? And some were great, I don't know, <clears throat> some great scholars came out of, came out of some past school. Right. They were to be drawn, from here now we'll say, there was a man by the name of Heffern. He lived back there and uh, beyond, beyond where Lillard is living there though. Frankie Lillard is what we call him back there. Oh, he was, he was, uh, 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 he had two, he had two sons, one was Nitty and the other one uh, was Alfred. But he had a shop there. A shop, a, a, a shop, and a good shop he had too. Back to Rod? Yeah. Sorry. He had a good shop there. He was, he was, he was, he was going down to care with his horse and cat. And bring up, we'll say, if that was a meal and everything from Care Mills. 
and he'd bring them up, and he'd it's it sell them to be by the by the by the stone or whatever it was beyond there, in, you know, in, 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 hmm. and coming up, bringing up, bringing up, this fellow used to come up. It was, I think he was nearly the old care. He was still nearly care, I think, at twice or three times a week, bringing up stuff to what it cost for him, but said, but I cost for it, and, 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 and Wales, and Wales are giving to, to the English at one time. And Wales came into the end, and they were, I think, it, 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 it sort of, it sort of died away then. That would be, we'll, we'll just take for instance, that would be during the, maybe before the war years, I, I don't remember much, but during the war years, that was the, the game at that time because there was never a car on the road. The roads were outside the roads here running back to Little Dan was a steamroll road. And it, we'd just take for instance, after a winter like this now, that would be doing a chart to be on hordes again. And if you, if you, had, if you had a, could afford the bicycle, you had to try and maneuver, and remove the, maneuver the hordes of the road. I often think of the, ha the hats of emergency that were there at that time, like get up in the barn. And, and we, 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 we were, you, we had to, we, this time of the year, when, when the air, I suppose maybe, um, the woods were, were what the wall wood and what the Kilshan and all of, we had to go picking blackberries, horse, and what you call it, anything to, to, make, to, make, to make a shilling. And it didn't so long ago since the blackberries stopped buying. And so the, uh, the, uh, the Jewman inside the prairie, a uh, Jewman, he was, he was known as Feldman, they were buying all this stuff and he was sent to the cost England. I made up my mind and I did what I said here. I, I said, Mikey made it one, he made a lot of us in his soul. And we decided, we decided we'd go, we joined the army in 1940. And four, three or four more came in with us and get our passage from, from, from South and Montgomery and Banshee. But to go to Limerick by train, you know. But, uh, I know. And we were down to, I was to do it myself, but my teammate to, turned up, the rest of them didn't turn up at all, I didn't turn up, didn't turn up. But I think they joined the army a, a, a year after or more. Yeah, we, went to, we were down to Limon, and there was, there was about, I could say there were a row of, 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 of young, man, young fellas. There could be anything up to 200. And I remember the man, the man, an officer, he came out and said, Raise your right hand, everyone, and swear by Almighty God that you'll do your duty as a soldier. I swear to you now, soldiers, to look after your country and fight for your country if it is necessary. I swear by Almighty God that I'll do as I've told. So you were swarmed in there and there was no go back. Yeah. I remember her going into Cork and we, we had to sleep on the ground. We'd make, a, we'd make our, our little baby or whatever we call it, outside in the, in, in the floor. What they call it, was a, an envelope bed they had no call it. There's no one here that. An envelope bed that you'll make it up outside in the ground and you'll put it in your, you'll put it in your, in your bed into the, to the, the baby egg. You laid it out, and you got into the, your be, your your baby, and you whatever you do, then you know to pull yourself out of it when they, when they go because an envelope bed is is if you make it out and it's tied together. That's what they call it, tied together with a, with a blanket. You put the blanket in over. That's to, to known as an in, as an envelope bed, nice. which you never have. Been. <laughs> huh? no, an old man, an old man, an old man. Do you know? Do you know? He's, I remember him well. He said to me, he said. Oh, God, help me, she says, you do you know where you're sleeping, she says, sleeping in the graveyard, she says. It was a graveyard, but it was a graveyard one time. But it was sort of all covered over, like. I didn't make my, I can't remember, came, came back into Cotton, and I came, I bought my mitts and stuff for a while. 
And this little man down the road, at Kilworth, Kilworth, I said. This little man would be down the road with him. We were in camps, we were in camp at that time. That'd be in a summer time, that way. And he'd come up, he'd come up from the cottages down, down the back road. There was an the old hotel there. They called, I remember when we were saying, you go down to the Jam Jam Hotel. Because there were no pine classes, only Jam Jams. The jam jar, you pick your jam jar and you go in up at the counter. And you get whatever you want, buy pint or whatever you got. It was out of a jam jar. It was christened the jam jar hotel. And I was picked. Now, there was another fellow from Kaya who would get picked as well. We were picked in for the, for the first field signal call. I tried the third field signal call, which was promoted at up to the first field signal call. There was no one. As the eyes and ears of the army. And uh, I, will I give you the, 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 I think I'm the most of the most, will I give you the mass code? Fine, yeah. The mass code was, I turned the post aside. The mass code was Don U R K F L M A E K Z H K O G O D O B L O J I G 1 Y Q A 2. That was the mass code. Where's my head forever? <laughs> did you ever get in trouble when you were in the army? Oh, I yeah, just I did. I oh, for Christ's sake, I, I was, I was, I was. Uh, you, you're going to snap. <laughs> I did. I did. I was on the. I, I told you I was on the. I was on the. On the, on the, on the I can't put together. Some of these days, my exchange, head. exchange, huh? the exchange. Oh, they, 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 they said. I was on that, thank you. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be have to go a night, a night you on it, you know. Right. But, but, uh, but it was my night, thank you, know. And I went down it, and of course, uh, th that time everything was rough and sort of ready, like, you know. And they had no such thing as, 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 a, as, a, as a bell ringing for the return. You would really watch the light coming on. And the, uh, and they changed. Yeah. What's the light coming on? And of course, if, when you see the light coming on, you just put up your ear. Hello, this is cock. This is cock. Like, you know, there's a plane after London in Tavik Hilti, Larry. And they on the lookout immediately because there's, there's two girls and, 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 and somebody go, go up to you. They, they, they can't get to it while you're asleep. I'd be ready for him, so thanks ever so much. So he was at the exchange, but he was a civilian now. But I was a damn So, I just, I said here, I had to quick, what, 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 quick now, I said to myself. I, 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 I said, oh, the, 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 the good bulb, I left it in a good one. I could remember him, I could remember him, yes, in bed. He was a sergeant. He attempted, he, was, he attempted to shoot himself. Hello. But he missed a bite, he didn't kill himself. And he was in Cock Military Hospital. And there'd be a, two hours on and four hours off, like, you know, you go down for, there'd be, you'd be relieved, you'd go down for two hours, sitting, sitting inside the hospital, just, he'd be sitting, he'd be in bed there, and we'd be, we'd be sitting back here with our back to the wall. And he would talk away to him, you know. So man said, I said, I'm fine, 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 tired. And he was, yeah. <laughs> I could not up to that. <coughs> but make sure you don't, I said. But the two of them had it off. <laughs> and they reached the they in. They came in. I got it. This is, this is the story I, 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 that was real and true. I think, Jez, I think you were uh, from Cork, I think this was that. Uh, he was the guard commander. In the gap room at that time, you know. So to my what the other fellow would be would be dead, we were we were we were we we were relieved and we came up and we said I, I said we want to sleep, I said I was waiting. And we want to sleep. But he said we we had to go down again and change the gas again to come up. The verified, the book got to put on, and they came up and they said, 
What condition did you find that the two boys in? They were asleep. Right, I said. But said I, will you, will you, will you, will you, will you, said I, 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 I was ahead of him, I was ahead of him, I was ahead of him. Right, said I, will you send, said I, for my own, my own officer, I said. His name is, he came from Tipperary town, covered in flowers. He came on up and he, I, he, 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 he said, he mentioned me by name, and he mentioned the man by name as well, like, you know. And he said, well, we'll tell the guard commander, I said, yeah. I caught him asleep, he says. I said, if you caught us asleep, he says, I want to take out the, 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 the arms off of us. I have my arms stick to that. And come up forward and looked around in, 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 in amazement. And he said, the only thing, he said, I, 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 said, I, can't, I, can't, I can't do anything about this, he said, which is, I, 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 I left her a man, he says, in a cell, he says. Until we we'll see what things are going tomorrow. We were reminded that the girl said, and the man after he came over, he came over to get, he came on to get me over the floor, and he said to me, and he said, I'm not the fight, he said, we're releasing you, you're sent to your comrades, he says, they're on open arrest. So he said, you're on open arrest, but you can't leave the barracks. My, my, my comrade, I called for it. He skipped it. And I, I never sang with him about his foot. The, the only thing where he did, they made out to me, that to me at the time that, that, that he went up and joined the, the British Army in the north. Maybe he got, got killed there. So. I never saw, he was Donovan. Tom Donovan from Cork City. And, 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 and he, he never, so they, 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 they said to me, I said, well, you'll, you'll, you'll try to jump and he gives that. I'm, no, I'm the only one, no, I shall jump and I'll that. <coughs> Because I'm going to bait you, said that, dude. And uh, he said, well, I went before him, didn't he? And caught a huge gun. He said, Larry, he said, you, you have to be reminded for a court martial. You know what a court martial is? You don't. You want to do, yeah. Huh? I do, yeah. You want to be reminded for a court martial. I thought of that. There was, I think, there were three officers that was in the, on the court martial, like, you know. Yeah. And so that they, don't, they had to be three or four. And uh, I was like, well, that's not too long after that. And uh, they, 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 they sent up for, for me. And I did before, but they shook my hand. We can't find nothing against us. You're a free man. What, what, what the man, what the guy commander told us to say, he made a fool of himself, he says. And you made a fool of all of he says. They had to remove the gun from him. All right, sir. Huh? So that, 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 that is a true story, the way you can, you could do things that the way fellas subscribe to a small thing that, well, that size enough a situation is, will I, will I, will I make a one? I uh, will. I will. I stand by. Uh, will I stand? Will I stand my ground <coughs> and fight my case? But I tell you, I had a. I got the old grandfellas in the army too. Grandfellas. I had. A, I had. A, I used to always carry my my as my civilian clothes and would be the case. I had a case with me, <coughs> and if I wanted a a pass. To go to the civilian, to, to civilian like no town. Mm -hmm. You, 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 you right, you right in your pass. I want to leave to Paris in Mufti. What is Mufti? Don't know. Civilian clothes. Right, okay. Mufti. 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 You got a pass to go to civilian clothes, like you know. Right. So I have to get a pass to civilian clothes. 
Because otherwise, I would say, well, no, the new name, I'm just no, see you, no, you, and things like that. What was the three mile rule for attending public houses? Oh, the three mile rule. Go to us for, 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 for attending public houses. You had to be. You had to be three mile away from, we'll say, Coast Road. It was the three mile limit. You follow me now? I had to be you had to three, more you had to three you, If you were over the three mile limit, you could visit the public house. <laughs> but when you were inside that, you couldn't visit it. As I said, there, as I said, as I told you before, now someone told me that to start the McGovern and Bansha. And I was, I, I was, I was, I was, I was in holidays. I was down, I down from there at the time. I was down from there, man. And to start the McGovern, my guy, he left his bicycle across the road. He. He pulled out his pipe, he was a great pipe smoker, and he took a few pulls of his pipe, and he said, but out, 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 all out, you know, mm. because they were all within the limit. <laughs> they had to be outside the, the three mile limit to get into, into a pub. I still, I still, I still inside, I do what that's, I still want to have a few more there too, but I was only local, I still had to let it go to. And she, he came in, he looked around, what he, meant. he looked at me and said to me, I, 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 he knew me anyhow. And she, 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 she hit me. She said, how dare you, she said, well, how dare you, she said, stay there, she said, and you're living over the road, she said. He said, my, my dear and dear, said, woman, I'm not living over the road, but my, my, my hope is above it, 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 it colours as well as cock, I said. <laughs> and then a long way from here. Yeah, it's more than three ah. miles. More than three it's miles. more than three miles now. Aye. Yeah. Yeah. There's a question here about the story regarding marking targets for the old IRA. Oh, Jesus. Well, I answer that for you. You can, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, that, was a, that was a real good one. There were, a moment when we were school to mark, we were to have to mark targets, like, they'd, they'd come on there, the old IRA, like, and they'd get into the canteen. A woman caught getting into the canteen. And my, my, this fellow was be with me back in the, I would remember we were back at the, back the target. And we were put on, I said, it interests his name, I'll never know, but I think Vic Lynch was his name. And we were put on a, on a target, I don't know, to one, to, one up to, up to I think it's up to 10. I know it's up to 10 or up to 12, no, I forget now. And, uh, we went up and we were dead, we were put on, 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 we were put on, I think, to, I think to the last target, number 10. I think to the last target, now we were put on, that's everything about it. Because <coughs> we, had to, we had to wait until the officers come on and check it. But we had, we had a, a plaster in a, in a, in a, in a, in a little ca yoga that, where the bullets had, would, would, would go through, like, you mm. know. Mm -hmm. We'd have to plaster that up after he'd have to, he, before he plastered it down, he'd have to examine it. How near you were, how near you were, there was a, it was known as a group, four inch, twelve inch, a deadly on. You know, if you he, he hit outside the, tar Distance outside the target, yeah. so so many inches away, he'd have to, right. but I got, I, I said, but the, the, when, the, when he came up, I know, a little man, and, 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 and I knew by him, he was, he was an old, I should know by him, but they were all, all, all IRA had been like, you know. They were, they were been at the, at the top of times, like. So, when I said to the man, the lynch whip, she said, we'll make this man a mass response, like that. So he did the targets as well. We, we had targets as well. We, we had, we, had, we, had a, we had a bullet, you know, and we had a bullet in our pockets, you know, and we would plug it and plug it in. And I make a, I made a mass man at him, the bullet's eye. And, and just I said to him, I said, when the spiders came up and I go back, we were sitting next to him. And he was, he was, they, 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 they clapped him below the old canteen. He was, a, he, he was a mass man. So I am that thing. That is the that is the gospel truth. Do you know of any stone or cross in Gortovor? 
A stone. Or a cross in Gortabor. I do I, 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 I bless a stone there where I call it. With fingers in it. Where is that? Did you ever see that? No. Well I think I think it's over to I do a story about that now. Do. I, 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 because I was be, I was be tell for 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 the rabbits, but some pets are man here. But I'm for rabbits. Stay like that. Yeah. And we're we're custom with there's a graveyard up there. If we do they went up to Jim up to Jim up to Jim Hayes Jim Hayes is there. Do you know what I'm doing? Pass up to Jimmy. There's a, a fort in there into the at your right of the passage. A fort. At the right of the passage. Where where people were buried. Were buried. And the passage now. That then he goes up over. No doubt passage. And then he goes up over to the and then there's a another passage. But well, they're all blocked up now. There's another one didn't go back to our left. Going back in there, into that fort. And that is the way they was carrying the, with the lot of mercy they did. They was carrying them up on a donkey and, 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 and cat, like, you know, on an old and cat or that. And back, and back to that, 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 that old passage, and they, they were and they were back there. That, that graveyard, that, that old graveyard is still there. But I was so passive, we'd always say, <coughs> We'll be able to we we'll, we'll, we'll be able to listen to daylight. We don't want to be caught up with the fairies and the uh, dead man's graves. The stone, the stone the, 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 so that was a stone. The, that stone was a five finger stone and a five or six finger stone. No one ever could know how that that was a that was a that was a bubble that in that in that there was a, 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 a church there, you know. A little church, a church. Of course at of course at that time they were they were telling them the family, but all there were the families everywhere. And um, the stone was there to know as as them to call below after the blessed stone. But no one could ever know how the stone said well, the, the prophecy at that time was how the stone was disturbed above and it rolled down to the roadside. Because no one the, the, no no the, 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 all people that time now, Patsy Hennessy made the Lord to Mr. Hunter, we were in Newfield, they didn't know how that stone came. And they went out and the, the stone rolled, the, the stuff rolled and sent down as they fell across the road. So it was like a, a wheel of a car. Mm. You know? Mm. And it had, had those, was it, was it six, six or seven holes, it was known as water holes, for holy water. Yeah. And people, they, they were the, there was a cure in them for so I know people just get cured for something. I don't that but they put their fingers into it. That's it. But my like Kira and, 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 and so that's that, that stone is still there, you know. It's up on the ditch. All right. That stone was was there and they 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 they, they wanted to bring that stone up to the to the cross above. At the tunnel table. The only thing they made above that, the statue. Yeah. They wanted to bring that stone up. And to a patch, I don't know, the house or the talk or whatever it was, they, they, they tried to load that stone beyond in, 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 in the road. They tried to load it. But they were, un, they were unable to load the stone and lift it up, put it up, uh, on it. And something happened anyway there that there and they did they had a stone they had a stone on the side of the road and they were they failed they failed to to put to, to put over the stone to lower it up and open this one was a kind of open. But when they came on the day <coughs> the day after for to lower the stone the stone rolled back to where it was always. Who did anyone handle this? Well, that, that's a fact. That's really a fact. That's really a fact. So they shook their head. They said, we leave you alone. Didn't touch it. And the only, way, the only thing is that the stone was lifted, but it was lifted to our highest. It is there, yes. 
Is it the same place, but it was lifted up a height. Mm, in terms of the businesses around Forge Road. There was a Forge there. No, I didn't know that, no. Didn't you? No. Did you ever know there was a Forge there? No. There was a Forge there. Across the road. Do you know what? Do you know what Ziggy's gate is? Is the gate going into the back gate? Yeah, yeah. There was a Forge there. Right. That's not mighty long ago out there. There was a Forge there, but there were three short horses in it. Right. And donkeys and all. Forge there. Yeah. I remember that myself. There was another one there, and it's for man. And another one there, and that's a dread. Those horses went over. There were all horses that turned on a motor car. Right. And anything like that. That's on the bicycle. So yeah. there, there was a shop where Leonard's were? There was a well, forge at Ziggy's? Oh, there was a shop, yeah. There was and a then shop. There was, was there a pub? Ziggy's as well? There, there was a pub. Whalers well, was the real pub that time. Right. That's where Ziggy's is living now. That's where Ziggy's is living now. Yeah. Uh, you'll go in there. You'll go into Mrs. Bush there. With the Martin Mercer and all. There'd be an eye lamp hanging in the wall. An eye lamp. Part of an eye lamp. Right. No electricity. And uh, John Burke. Oh, John. John Burke. John Joe. Joe is a boss. His father. And Mrs. She, John, she was a boss. Wife was. Came from Gotham War. Margaret. Margaret. Mrs. She was butler. They 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 put the sand. Yes. Uh, Wales folk, and what we called came there for. It was it was English that owned it. Right. English. Who bought that pub? Was Dan 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 Welsh Welsh of of of, of Ross Paul. Right. Dan what is it there, man? That that Kid Welsh. Kidwatch his father. Right. But he, he was too fond of the drink. And to sort again. I think it was English but English but that, that. But I don't remember that so well, but then there was the there was the play there beyond there. I, I, I don't play there ever so often. In the in the hard. There was the hard below, there was a hard there. There was a that was a big place that time. There was a place below there was a, 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 a many bows and there were some people living below at the end of it. And there were fireplaces and all that. When did you um, start working with on post? There were two posts because he did a bad lot. Paddy Manuel one and then Pat John Hunter was the other. Right. I said to, I said to myself, I I I I I I'll apply it for the job, I you know. Well, I had a job in the forest. I don't see about it. I said, you, want to buy, you remember Bice? Mm. Bice was only after Cumon. At that, that time, you only after Cumon. And I had a job in the forest because, oh, yes, I knew what this did. I was in there, I was going up for training. And I was in the, I was in the forest. At that time, I got a job in the forest. When Nelly was at home at the time, and Nelly wrote to me, that time on, with no phones, like, you know, and she said, Mr. Bice is after second you, she says. Because you're no good. Only Bice had been time ago, and then the other day. So, oh God, she said, I'm good enough, so I said, I, I, I look after that, I look after that, I said. <coughs> so I went to my, 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 my friend, to come to the throne. And I told him my my what I had to say. I told him like what 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 I was about to get. I was about to get. Oh, he said to me, "Now he said, he will be sacked before you can be sacked." So, all right, I said. He said, "He said, before you be home now, he said, he'll be, he 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 he'll discuss." He says. And when did on post come on on the scene? I did tell him and a bit. My friend decided to source the welfare. And then they did just come over. He was an army man again, an army he was an army sergeant with me, like a damn man. So I said I, I went up to Mogra for, for, for to get a 
a what you call it? I said, I wanted to get this job. And my grand said to me, she said, Who are you cutting? She said, I'm sure job. I'm doing what? I'm doing job in the palace. She said, And the people in the town said, We'll be glad to have a job. She said, And you're looking for a different job now. Go away. I went in, oh, I went in the law and that was, I went in the digital office and it was known as, oh, I don't know, it was a social welfare office or whatever you call it. And I met my man, that was his name, he was an ex-handed handed. I told him, he said, I remember when you sit there and I was say, wait to see, I'll go up to see, I wait, I wait, I the door to see because people could be coming in. He went up and he came back to that door. There's your father now, says he. You can go, says he. And work and, and do what you like. He says, There's your father now, says he. I gave him a head of books, says he. Says he, he went dead with, with, with fools. He was, he was, he was, he was dead with townspeople. Like. I went so. into that. And I went into the post office and I told him, and he said to me, you can start whenever you like, he says. You will go, he says. That's all. So it went from day to day. Yeah. How many years did you spend it on post? Well, I started with a good, a good many years. How many houses would you have called to initially, you now, say, when you started? Oh, I did. How many houses were there? Well, when I started, like, it was a, a bicycle. A bicycle. Oh, I used to go back as far as Dunn Road, and the Mona Mola. Oh, yeah. And uh, a part of, a part of a part of did coach. Yes. So we get it. But don't you see about it? You see, is that there were cameras at that time? No. Yeah, don't go out. Don't go out. You find the man. You find the man as a camera. Yeah. You come and make we make, make copy of whatever the size of the camera, and 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 I'd, I'd meet the man as a camera. I'd meet, meet the man because they were all going to the to the camera and families were going to the camera. You know. You 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 don't you don't tell me what's on. Meet them all at the club. Only right. go back to the club. Meet them all. I got it. Do you know what? I often think back to our times. There were great times, though. You know that point. Great times with Garman there and the the brigades and what was going on. Yeah. Meet them all. The farmers claim they didn't lift. Is there a story about Johnny Smeg and the broken boots? <clears throat> Johnny Byron. I was. I played a bad little man from Billy Cross. <coughs> so I went back to Cross Road. And uh, I could see the, this pair of boards. And just that thing was Paddy, you haven't it? Your brother? Oh, my brother, my brother, yes. They were probably a grand pair of, a labour worn. They were a grand pair of brown boards. And they were there. And, 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 she says, I sized them up from my car. I said, I, 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 I'd have to, I think, I think that Timmy O'Dea was there at the time. I'd have to, I'd have to do this, I said. So, I came back. He was still sitting down. A bag, it was a bag he had. A bag, he never had a no. A bag he had. And she says, I was able to take the boots out of the bag, an old bag. And I put in the, 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 the door, the door, the door at once. And, so I think it was, it was uh, Grace Peters, it was Grace, and she woke up, not Grace, it was Dennis Peters' wife. Yeah, yeah. Huh? That, 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 I got from a man to say, court road, and then a right pair of boots, he said. You know? Turn him out, he's back like that. And we turn again, he says. <laughs> so, Timmy, what did Timmy O'Dea do was there? I think. Mm. Timmy, came, Timmy came over to me. That is to say, will you bring back the right ones to say? He'll go mad. He brought back the boots. Yeah, because I had the, the boots got them back. He brought back the boots. I had the gate closed. I could hear him. Along the road, and he fired up the old pair of boats in over the gate into the yard. Nice. But well, good ones will be on because Timmy O'Dea told me to bring it back. 
There you go, Craig. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, Morris Hanley and Jimmy and Morris Hanley and Jimmy O'Donnell. That's it. So two, it is two same sort of cars, like you know. Morris Hanley, of course, got into the car, and so Jimmy's car, old Harry car, they got into. You know, and so we're home. <laughs> and they said to me, the man and that, I'm going to go. You get blessed to see that I don't hold my car, to see it didn't go and write for me, car, to see. The sight, to see, whatever the time is, to see. I said, sir, sure you, that's not your car, sir, I said. Huh? That was Jimmy O'Donnell's car, you know. Oh, I, I, I tell you another one about Jimmy, Jimmy O'Donnell, Jimmy, that Jimmy, you know. Jimmy O'Donnell, he was living up to them, except for me, he was living in a very good to go with all he was living above there now, it's a different place out there. But the, <clears throat> I said to him, I, do you know what anyone said? I, I, I was to say, I, live, I, I had shown a couple of mornings. I live a couple of days in the back, so you're part of the law, so say, tomorrow they're up. I went up, I went up tomorrow, the day after, and they had, they had eggs for me. Yeah, they said, I, 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 I thought nothing about him, you know. And I said, I think I'll tell him about it. Yeah, but I was there, I said, I took a new thing to tell us, I said. I tell you, Larry, I said, Mary Ann Kiley was even across the ditch, you know. It's Mary Ann Kiley was going to mass every Sunday at Sidon Town. And if I was, if I, if I happened to be, be, be there, go look, I have a letter from when, when she'd come home from mass, she'd make me come in and she'd sit, then they'd sit down and they'd make, we'd make a cup of tea and toast. But then, you know, Jimmy, what Jimmy done, Jimmy, Jimmy used to go across, and go across, and then Kylie, and then Kylie had hints, not hints, she had a place for looking in hints. And Jimmy only went across and stole, stole all the hints, the, the lay, hints, the, the legs of the hinos. And do you remember a Father Hogan? Oh, Father, Father Hogan, Father, Father Tommy, isn't it? What did Tommy Hogan? I didn't remember him well. He was the cure to the man for a long time. And, and, and they would be, they were, they were up the sports field, like that, that, and the sports field, it was that, there was, Moroni that owned the sports field. That they owned that field across the road, Moroni. Well, as far as I know, he sold the field. Again, and I can't get the name of the man he sold to it. But there was an old fort there, in that field, an old fort. And whatever he was doing, he said, and doing the trip to take it down around the fort, he, he lashed his eye. He got a bit to today and lashed his eye. He would, he would do, do an up to old field, like, do, 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 do an up to old field, and he said to me, when you're finished, Larry, come, come back, he says. I was going back in a minute. He was with John Kiley's, John Kiley's tractor and a trailer. But we had lots of rest in John Kiley. He had his head in good one to John Kiley. He'd go up to John Kiley for the tractor and trailer and bring it down and he'd bring it. And we were stay, we were stay beyond, didn't it? And then the field, we were picking up stones and making the, making the, making the sort of respectable, the two of us together. And we chat away together, the two of us, you know. And he, he, he didn't, in the, when the evening they come and you see the boys coming on, but they give him a help. And he said, Daddy, you can go now. He says, and you can go in to see to my own. He says, make sure you go in. He says, have a, have a few drinks of whatever you want in my name, to see. And he says, won't my own, he'll give him to you. So I was going to go across that day and take a pint of Oh, Mr. Maroon, he said to me, he says, that's no bother the wine that they want. She says, he told me, whatever Larry wants to see, give it to him. He was, he was a great man for doing jobs he'd like to finish now. Would get the people doing it for him. He was a God himself. He <laughs> said, I'm done now, he's getting, he's getting others to do with it. He was a, he was, he was a, a great man, he'd always be on the road to do something. He'd go up and he'd paint that cross above it, above it, at the top of the hill, with a ladder himself. Everything, everything that he could do, he, he, he was doing it himself. He, he wanted to grab him some, for, some, some bit there in the school yard. I don't want to go to it. Just as I say, I went down and said, I went down and picked up by John Kiley's 
tack till Sverige och jag är fylld upp på mig till Sverige och så ser bra att han ser sig. Han tror att Karl så gav det ju. Tror att Karl kom till Karl så. Han sa att han var där för en för en annan stor revolver. Han där var två gals waiting på det för mig. And they said, we're going to have to get the a complaint, they said, about a man taking gravel here. And he told me, he said, yeah, tell, tell me who will have to complain that you're taking the, 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 the gravel from the council, from, belongs to the council. And they said, here, of course, they said, and then all over that, they're all dirt, like, you know, nobody will come around, come around, that, like that. So they said to him, if you like that, they said, you can come in and make a statement. What are, you, what are you talking about? He said to me. He said to me, come in and make a statement. I said, I shall end up doing the, the work to say that the council should be doing. He said, oh, what? A, and who are your sources? He said, I've had the Tommy Hogan to say from this man. He says, I'm the cure to this man. Well, he said, they fell back like that, and all they had to do was take a fish and letter. He says, carry on. Huh? What's this about a ghost story? You you know about some ghost story? Oh yeah, that 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 that, that happened. That's a fact. That happens. That happens. That was, I was coming out just years and years ago. There were no lights at the dinner bar. There were no lights anywhere. When I came to the t to t walk out from the cinema, I would walk into the cinema and walk out again. Town. Yeah, but I wasn't living here at all now. Nice. I know. I was living in good war. And uh, come on now, come on now, and uh, uh, Woodman's, I think, Woodman's a player wet, so I was a different first smoker than that time. That's what I'm saying here. But uh, I was light up, and, and what you'll see, you'll see there, the lights at the end of it, all black out. Sure. Yeah. And I come on down along the road, and this fella walked up, walked up to our side me, and he said to me, he said, well, well, what are we doing? So I said, would you give me would you give me the lights of my pipe, he says. Oh, I will, I says. I will, I says. I don't know, they have a box of matches here, I says. And that was the lights of my pipe, I said. They take them back, put back into my pocket again. We spoke and I said, to the left you're out, I said. To the left you're out, I said to him. Well, I am to say, I'm here, I'm going this road, he says. What a long, long time, she said. I go on and now she said they well over 80 years of my day. And I, I, I said, no, you can't know I am. She said, we well, have done over 80 and 90 years. She said. And, 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 and she said, as a young man, he said, young, as a young man, she said, I was cut stealing, she said, happens out of, out of an orchard, she said. They tell me the answer, the answer, the answer. What's it called? Mr. Dawson. 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 Mr. To the dead, they the purely, the dead, they the purely dead man, to say. But to say, I had, I did my peace with God, to say, and to say, God told me that, that, that you can roam, you can roam, you go on your own road, to say, for as long as you like, he says. Whatever, it, whatever is troubling you, to say, you can get it over with, he says. But what's troubling me, to say, they told me, I, 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 carried, I carried in my coffin, he says, tobacco, matches, and, and cigarettes. I had no cigarettes on his pipe, I forget now. What does he say? When I came to see it, I to get to my coffin, he says, <coughs> I had everything, he says, but the matches were damp, he says. <laughs> <laughs> they would not, they would not lie, she said. <coughs> and I kept going, she said, he said, that way. 
And you're the first man, he says, to give me a night to my pipe, he says. What beautiful, he says, to give me a night to my pipe, he says. That's the pin is done for them, he says. There's a hanging tree there, you know, that you ever see the hanging tree? No, where's the hanging tree? As you go up, to, as you go up to, the up to the there. There's an old road going up there. Look, I come out above here, it's up in the head, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. There's a hanging tree there. All right. And the hanging tree was all, and that's gone now, long, long ago. But everyone that was hung there, they was hanging a ribbon on it. But the branch was going out like that. They went up and they went up in the ditch, like you know, put the put the 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 the, the, the penalty up you know, up on the ditch and set stand there. They put the open on to dig, then and they give him one shove out and he was home. It was known as the hanging tree. And everyone there was pap <coughs> that um <coughs> that still must be still there. Everyone that just did pass we started to get a little pebble or stone and fired it in toward the bottom of the trees, made a lot of mess in that stone, made a lot of mess in that. This, you, there, there was a, a bed of stones around the, the bottom of that. Now we, we'll finish off there, we might recite as a poem, will you? The clock of life. It's round but once, and no one has the power to tell you when the hands will stop at the late or early hour. To lose one's wealth is sad indeed. To lose one's health is more, to lose one's soul is such a loss that no man can restore. The full present only is our own, so live, love time with a will. Place no faith in tomorrow, for that clock may then be still. Thanks. You ever hear that one? No, I haven't snapped.